Good evening, I'm Lauren Culber. And I'm Chad Mira. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. It's a Bismarck Police Department project you've likely never heard of. Security surveys for homeowners. KX News reporter Sanji Milburn tells us how it can help you and your business in tonight's top story. It can happen in the blink of an eye. I'm talking about crime. Whether it's burglary, shoplifting, or robbery, you name it. And now local businesses and homeowners don't have to worry as much with the help of the Bismarck Police Department. You want to make sure that you double check, you triple check, is it safe or not, you know, things like that. We want to be in that, you know, in that comfort zone. Kiki Risky is the general manager of Kobe's Japanese Steakhouse and Sushi Bar. He's been in business for eight years, and as a business owner, he says you can never be too safe. You have to have a safety in order for you to uh, run a business. And it's not only one establishment, it involves the whole community. Although he hasn't had any crime on his property, others aren't so lucky. The Crime Prevention Division is giving out recommendations and tips on how to keep your property safe. They go to your home or business and do a free assessment on your risk areas. The department says the security surveys will help reduce the chance of being a victim. We look at locks, lighting, windows. Um, if there's a lot of like shrubbery growing around the um, business, make sure that people can't hide behind and break in. Just make it less a target for thieves or burglars to break into the place, make it more secure. These simple recommendations are a lot of things people don't think of. The division gets more requests from homeowners. Last year they received five requests and this year one so far. As for Kiki, it's worth taking the extra precaution to be safe than sorry. Reporting in Bismarck, Sanji Milburn, KX News. And these security surveys are free. You can request them by calling the Bismarck Police Department and asking for crime prevention. A month ago, two people in the Bismarck Mandan area became victims.